Hello, my name is Cathy and I'm from Southern Hemisphere in South Africa. The focus now is going to be on horizontal coordination at the administrative level. The aim of coordination at this level is to improve efficiency in delivery, enhance quality of service from the perspective of the users, and to reduce duplications and transaction costs. The tools for improving coordination of social protection at the administrative level can be grouped into front and back office services. Front office services refer to any activities that involve an interaction with the beneficiaries, and back office services involves no interaction with the beneficiaries, such as integrating the management information system or the single registry. Some examples of how this is described is as follows. So, for example, front office activities could involve providing information and advice to beneficiaries, but back office activities involves asking for information from responsible entities or different programs. In another example, front office activities could involve supporting beneficiaries with the registration process. The corresponding back office activities would be to check documents for validity, correctness and completeness. Right, so those were just some examples. But it's important to remember that administrative integration across the programs can happen at the level of the front office or the back office, and that the back and front office activities don't necessarily have to be in the same place. Right, now that you are familiar with horizontal coordination of social protection, we will discuss vertical coordination. This takes place at the different levels of government. For example, at the federal or national level, then flowing down to the provincial, regional, district, and right down to the community and village level. Each layer of the social protection system depends on the other layers to perform its tasks. The aim is to ensure consistency, responsiveness to local context, and accountability in program implementation. Vertical coordination consists of ensuring that there is a flow of information both up and downwards. There is a need for top-down information to flow from the national or central level to provide policy and operational guidance and there is a need for bottom-up flow of information to inform the national or central planning and budget allocations. Well, this is just the beginning of the discussions on coordination of social protection. Join the activities ahead to learn more.